Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Gucci logo or your own Louis Vuitton logo. Neither of them will take very long. They're completely free. I'm providing you with all the links. So let's get straight into that. give me the cold shoulder, I can speak for myself. So I keep a hot waist and alligator the belt. Ain't got a belt with the holster. I ain't playing games, but got some little niggas who would do it. So I pass the control. All right, welcome back. Let's get going. So the first thing I did was I went on a hunt for the LV logo, um, like the text type. This is the closest that I could find. It's not perfect, but they did make the, the logo themselves. So that makes perfect sense. So this is the LV logo. Um, also, can you guys let me know quickly if when you have a, a text box like this, do you ever find it impossible to find the bit where you can drag it? Like I can do that and sometimes it will let me go outways, but to slide like right or left. My box just kind of freezes. I don't know if it's a glitch with the new Photoshop or what, but yeah, that's happening. Um, anyway, so what they do is they have this L, this V, uh, it's very simple actually, I've rasterized it so that I can fully customize this text and they take the L, I like to make them separate so I copy one, delete it, I copy one, delete it and then paste it back so they're both separate. Um, yeah, so the L, they just put it, they like really flex it that way, they then get the V and literally, oh no I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> so they go this way and then they get the V and just place it on top like that um, it's important to have things like running smoothly so you can see that um, these lines aren't running parallel so it should be more like that so it'd be something like that that is effectively the Louis Vuitton logo uh, there's a few differences but we're not going to get into those because it's as good as we're going to get so i'm going to go back and show you how that could work with your own logo so let's say some letters just aren't going to work for this and i know that's annoying if you have like a, a name and it just doesn't look good but that's just trial and error i guess uh, you can always look for some of the other logo tutorials on my channel right so i know that j's look quite nice um, and where my name is GFX, I'm just going to pick the nicest letter, so it's going to be X. So technically this doesn't actually make sense for me to use as a logo, because I wouldn't use these letters. But um, just to kind of demonstrate what you could do. So then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make it bigger whilst it's still a font, so we don't lose quality. Because as soon as you rasterize it, you then lose quality, if you um, make it bigger. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slant the J like that, and make it run parallel with the X, so that is about right. Uh, and then it's just finding something fun you can do. Oh yeah, so delete, so copy, delete, and then paste it back so you have it as a separate layer. So literally just like that, I've just thrown that together, but it's got that kind of stylish look that Louis Vuitton has where it just looks a bit luxurious and a bit fancy. I think that's the font with like the sort of yeah, the posh edges coming out like an old English text almost. So yeah, that is kind of as easy as as it is to make. Uh, you can then do all kind of layer styles. So I know if you want to make it look um, kind of really smart, one that I like to do is a really dark background. So we'll get the gradient tool. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to make my first color black and my secondary color like that, for example and then just drag it down so you get something like that. Put that above it. I'm gonna make this white for the time being. And I'm gonna make that even darker. And then with the text, I like making it, like giving it a metallic look. So you can give it like a, a bevel bevel and emboss and then just set this like an outer bevel um, put like a hard depth on it uh, keep the size quite small you can change these to give yourself different like metallic effects that's something a lot of people don't know about but that actually makes a huge difference
Well, that actually looks mad. I know that's not really useful, but <laughs> it looks so sick. Right, so we'll go for a small bevel. Chiseled hard, of course. So look like an actual nice piece of metal. Depth to the maximum. Lift the opacity on both of them. Yeah, I quite like that. And then I like to add like a gradient. <clears throat> Add a gradient and just make it so from a white to like a grey like that. And then I like to go right over the top in a clipping mask and just add like a white reflection layer. Should look like that. So then I'm just going to paint all that in white and then you'll see it as soon as you rasterize this layer. So it look like that. Just gives it that like um, extra reflection I guess. Maybe that way would be nicer. It's very subtle, but um, it's quite a cool effect. And if you set it to overlay mode, then it will only react with what's inside the text. So your bevel isn't being affected. So yeah, something like that, guys. I think that looks quite um, sort of striking, bold. And you could make this any color. I've done it silver, but you can make it gold. I don't know if this is going to be a shortcut of making it gold, but just to demonstrate it. There you go. You kind of get the idea. Um, so yeah, just play around, send me your Louis Vuitton logos, I'd love to see them. Uh, but let's move on to Gucci. Now, Gucci's a little bit harder because, let's open a new one. Gucci's a bit harder because there isn't a font online for it. Uh, I was able to find the font that um, controls the bit at the bottom, it's called Grand John. So if I write that out go like that and then just type in Gucci in the font Grand John you can see that's the the text font but as for the actual G logo it's just not online I've tried looking for ages I can't find it tell me if I'm being blind guys but I couldn't see it at all um, and then the best one that I could find which I found on Dafont shout out Dafont if you're ever looking for fonts check them out is called like Norma Fixed so demonstrate again if I do a capital G and then type in Norma Fixed. All of these fonts are in the description. Should have said that right at the start but yeah all fonts are in the description. And then if I blow that up and then do what they do with their logo which is duplicate, rotate and do that. How I did that by the way is I just pressed F3 uh, but that's something I've set up by myself. You guys would have to go to edit, transform and then flip horizontally. So then that's basically their logo. However, they have a little gap in the middle, but we're gonna do that just by going like that. <laughs> oh, merge together. Yeah, so that's effectively the Gucci logo. Uh, so you can do that yourselves just by literally picking what letters you want. So I'm Griffin GFX. Um, Oh yeah, I was doing this earlier. I was messing around with G's and I couldn't get that to work either. So I'm just going to pick like the letter J. Mm. Go for something like that. Flip it. So that's dead simple, but I think that actually looks quite cool. Kind of looks like an anchor. Write my name out. Why not? And then if you want that to be a bit more bold, I think theirs is a bolder font. You can, once you finally have it, you can merge your letters together. Right click, go to blending options, and then just add a stroke. And then you can make that stroke as big as you want. So I'm going to go for something like that. And then like what we did with the Louis Vuitton, you can add any kinds of effects to this. Um, you could add the Gucci stripes and the Gucci colorway if you want to kind of reinforce that look. Or just take it down your own route. I always try to say with these videos um, that they're not teaching you guys how to copy per se. It's more giving you guys the creative freedom to take inspiration from these brands. So I would always recommend if you do like font or if you do like logos like this, then take the inspiration and try and do something unique with it. Because you've got to remember when you are making your own logo, although it's important to like take influence, that's a you know that will help you create a solid image. It's also very important to be unique. 
and you can never get that big if people just look at it and go oh they just copied copied that logo apologies if you can hear the siren someone's on the run from the police anyway guys oh, big stretch anyway thank you all for watching this video i do loads of logo tutorials if this wasn't quite what you were looking for uh you could check out the supreme one the phase one Ali A. I recently did Ninja, which was a mascot logo, so that's quite cool. So go check that out if you like Ninja's logo and would like to know how to do one similar. If you're no good at making these or you want me as a graphic designer to spend a few hours on making a really kind of thought out logo for you, I do do my own client work. So just go into the description. You can grab my Instagram or my email and literally just shoot me an inquiry. Ask, tell me what you want and I'll give you a price to get back to you within a day or so. Um, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. It's been a quick one. I think it has anyway. It probably could have been quicker. I do tend to waffle a little bit. But uh, drop a like if you're still here. And actually comment if you're still here. Comment um, Curry Monkey. I'd like to know how many of you stick around to the end. Anyway guys, love you. See you in my next video, potentially. If not, hope you have a nice rest of your life. <laughs> that is me out. Peace. Barbers, cause we really with the beef like cards of the gay fathers. Nigga, we get dollars, give them the bin baller. Exchange for them chains, I saw shiny with thick water. I got back pains, neck heavy like whipped cream. My whip clean, and they all.